Let's take a look at how this Texan radio does in the daytime. Hello again. It is just after 2.30 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. I am in centralish Ohio. It's a relatively clear day, if not overly warm, and I am going to try a daytime scan of shortwave frequencies. Generally, when I'm listening to shortwave radio, it's after dark, uh, late at night, and uh, sometimes very early morning, because that's um, especially late at night is, is the best time to pick up shortwave frequencies. I'm just going to see how this radio does uh, during daylight hours. And this is the Texan PL330, um, which is a fine entry-level shortwave, uh, all, all bands, uh, you know, medium wave AM and FM radio. Uh, it has this uh, easy tuning mode that I'm going to use. I'm going to run a scan through the shortwave frequencies. And uh, it's a, I guess, ETM plus is what they call it on this and similar radios from Texan, the PL660 and 990, I think have the same, where it will run through and store all the frequencies it finds activity on. But it uh, does that uh, based on the hour that you're doing it. So when I run this during this two o'clock PM hour, it will save all the frequencies it finds and a folder associated with that hour. So if, uh, if I'm still listening when it comes to three o'clock local time and whatever that is, coordinated universal time, eight or nine, math is hard when you're filming. Um, then if I'm still scanning through saved frequencies, it will then be in the folder from the last time I ran a scan during the three o'clock PM hour, which I don't know that I've ever done on this radio, because again, generally listening at night, I'm using a, uh, simple long wire clipped to the antenna here. It does have a jack for a longer antenna, but the setup I have nearby me here, I'm just using a clip on the aerial. And it's uh, to a, oh, I don't know, maybe 10 to 15 foot wire. I have strung around a window in uh, the second floor of my home. So we'll see what, what comes up. We'll turn it on here. It's already on something, oddly enough, so let's run it to scan through ETM. I think that means easy tuning, easy tuning mode, easy tuning mode. My instruction manual that came with the radio is all in uh, Chinese, so I, <laughs> I'm not positive that's what they call it. Uh, you can see it here on the little sticker that I've left, ETM Plus. The plus represents the uh, feature it has to save the frequencies in a folder by the hour in which the scan was run. Um, very nice radio. I've covered this <clears throat> in a little more detail in, in previous videos. Um, as far as an entry level uh, AM FM shortwave, uh, long wave, which is pretty non existent here in the US, uh, has the single sideband. So you can listen in on ham frequencies, which is tremendous fun. At the upper end, you can listen to some uh, CB radio, also fun. It's kind of the Wild West still, uh, the Citizens Band. Looks like we're picking up a few frequencies here. We'll see how clear they are. It's up to, what, 16 stations, 17, 18, that it's found so far. It's still finding them. I don't have a huge amount of hope that any of these are going to come in very clear here during uh, the middle of the day. But I thought I would try it on this radio, just uh, see what happens. It skips over a lot of sections of the... Uh, frequency spectrum there. It's basically only going to broadcast sections in which it's uh, broadcast shortwave. It doesn't scan the uh, ham radio frequencies or CB. 
All right, so it looks like we're done. We got about 23 or 24 hits, supposedly. Let's see if any of those are anything. I'm not certain what that is, but it's semi-local. It's faint. If I had to guess, I'd say that's Brother Stare. Preaching of some sort. There's the time frequency coming in pretty well. I don't know what they're singing, but they're singing it well. I would guess that's uh, religious music of some type. Responsibility to rule. When people have conflict over faith, there's usually something else behind this conflict. Tribalism. Historical offense. Outside sources. Super faint, but it almost sounds like Brother Stare again. Another time station coming in really clear here. And 15 megahertz. That's it. So as expected, not nearly as many frequencies, not as much variety as I get at night, but it's interesting to see what I can still get when the uh, solar radiation is messing everything up and only the stronger signals come through. So thanks for watching as I tried this little experiment and uh, probably should have tried it just on the aerial and see what kind of difference that made, but I'll save that for another video. I appreciate it when you stop by and watch and comment, all of that. Um, I'm not sure what the next video is going to be. I appreciate you uh, checking in and watching those that are of interest to you. Thanks for joining me today and hope to see you here again next time.